Hello friends, this is Matt Baum and today I'll be going to discuss a very fundamental law in physics, in electricity and that's Ohm's law. This law was given by a German physicist George Simon Ohm in the year 1827. Now if you ask me why this is very fundamental, it's because it gives the basics of electricity. It gives the relationship between current I flowing in a metallic wire and potential difference V across its terminal. Now first let's know, uh, study the definition of Ohm's law. Ohm's law states that the electric current flowing through a conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference applied across its ends providing the physical conditions remain unchanged. Now the physical conditions are none other than temperature, pressure and all. These need to remain unchanged for the uh, voltage and current to be uh, unchanged. If V is the potential difference and I is the current which flows through the conductor, then according to Ohm's law, V is directly proportional to I or V is equal to IR or I is equal to VR, where R is the constant of proportionality called resistance of the conductor at a given temperature. Now you see the importance of temperature remaining constant. Now this resistance is also a very important aspect. But we are not going to discuss about in this in this uh, chapter. Therefore, it is clear that now it is very clear that current is inversely proportional to resistance. What this means is that let's uh, imagine an example. If resistance is doubled, then current gets halved. If resistance is halved, then current gets doubled because they are inversely proportional. Therefore, the conductors which obey Ohm's law are called ohmic conductors and the conductors which do not obey Ohm's law are called non-ohmic conductors. Uh, now, this is also a very important aspect of our lesson. Now that we have understood about Ohm's law, let's see, uh, let's see the activity that verifies Ohm's law. Now, let's jump into the activity that verifies Ohm's law. Now the materials needed are very simple, an icron wire of any length you desire, voltmeter, ammeter and 4 cells of any voltage, preferably I would recommend 1.5 volt. Now the pictures are given below for your reference, this is the voltmeter, this is the ammeter, cell, nichrome wire. So if you want to know what a nichrome wire is, nichrome wire is an alloy of Nickel, Chromium, mag Manganese and Iron Metals. Now, the activity is as to proceed. First, only use one cell as the source in the circuit and not the reading in ammeter and voltmeter. First, only use one cell as the source in the circuit and not the reading in ammeter and voltmeter. Okay, now note it down and repeat the same with 2, 3 and 4 cells. Connect two cells and then observe the readings of ammeter and voltmeter. Similarly with three cells and four cells. Now calculate V by I for each pair of potential difference V and current I. For each pair, the first cell we got a, a potential difference V and I. For the two cells you got something and now divide these and uh, calculate the V by I ratio and uh, uh, record it. Now plot a graph between V and I and observe the nature of the graph. Now what values we got for V and I, you plot a graph for it. And uh, you join the points from the origin. You will uh, see that it passes through the origin. You will find that approximately the same value for V by I is obtained in each case. Now it may differ from, uh, in a point difference. But we notice that approximately the same value. If it is 7, it stays as 7. 7.1, 7 6.9, something like that. Therefore, the graph, uh, the line, uh, the, that's the V by I graph is a straight line that passes through the origin of the graph. That's what I mentioned before that the line will pass through the graph. Thus, V by I is a constant ratio. So, I have given a map here, uh, I have given the graph here for your reference. The graph will be obtained like this. The potential difference is uh, the uh, Y axis and uh, current X axis. Now, if you see, the, a straight line is obtained in this case. Now, I hope that all of you un have understood Ohm's law and enjoyed my video. Uh, if you like the video, please subscribe, share and like the video. If you have any doubts regarding Ohm's law, please leave it in the comments section below. Thank you, friends.
until the next video goodbye